I'm so mad at myself for doing this. Hi, hello friend, welcome to a channel. Your girl's quarantined, right? We know this. So I went on Instagram and I asked you guys what you wanted to see from me during this time in which I can just pump out some content. <laughs> And a lot of you guys mentioned pure romance. So at first I was like, okay, maybe pure romance could be my next deep dive. But within about five minutes, I stumbled upon this video. Now, this video is an hour and 10 minutes long, so I do apologize here, but uh, y'all are gonna get another long one today, I'm thinking. This video is a full pure romance party. I watched the first 18 seconds and I was like, this is it, this is what I'm doing. now. I don't know anything about pure romance. <laughs> Except for the kind of products that they sell, right? Which is fine, I'm not judging. Um, I may have to censor some things out if it gets too raunchy up in here because I'm not working right now. I need my YouTube <laughs> ad revenue. <laughs> But yeah, it's only fair. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to a pure romance party right now, right this very second by pressing play after this airplane is done. Obviously, I have wine. Um, from what I understand, they try to booze people up when they go to these things because otherwise you're just gonna cringe yourself to death. This is Barefoot Rosé. I fucking hate Barefoot, but it seemed convenient. So y'all ready to go to a pure romance party with me? Let's go. <laughs> this disclaimer though. All right, hi ladies. Hi. How are we doing today? Hi. Good. My name is Cindy Faulkner. I am a pure romance consultant. I'm excited to get to know each of you. Right away, I wanna say thank you to Peyton uh, for hosting the party for us. And Peyton, you booked your party from Deja. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the benefits of doing that here in a little while. Oh, so, okay. right away, I have a question for you, okay? Is there anybody here that's never had the pure romance experience. This is your very first time. Um, we usually at pure romance parties have three different types of- It sounded like she said pyramid party. Go back, go back. Play that again, Jamie. Um, we usually at pure romance parties have three different types She's, of party. She said pure romance, but it really sounded like pyramids. Am I wrong? Yeah, pure romance parties. I don't think I'm wrong here. We have our party virgins. One, two, three. I'm already uncomfortable. <laughs> pure romance parties are designed to be fun and Pyramid's interactive. Party. I wonder like how, I don't want to say scripted this is, but how planned out this was because like obviously they have multiple camera angles going on. Look at this blonde girl's face in the corner here. She's just like, <laughs> she already knows she's in for it. I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, starting out, we are going to lick and sniff. All right, just yourself, not your neighbor. Then you'll have the opportunity to touch them with your hands only. I greatly appreciate that. Ew. Pause for effect. The best part of the party is at the end of the party. I like to call it the climax. <laughs> I have yet to meet a woman that does not appreciate a good climax Ooh. or 10. Correct? Ew. Okay, good, I'm in the room. The visuals I'm getting. I'm sure Cindy's a lovely woman. And my mom said that if I don't have anything nice to say, I just shouldn't say it at all. The client <gasps> experience, ladies, it's not literal. It's actually when you come shopping with- No shit, like what? <laughs> no, I think they all came here expecting to just, how can I say things without pissing YouTube off? Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure we all understand how we should be using these products. It, with a group of women. I mean, unless you're, never mind. <laughs> in the private shopping room, okay? So I carry a large inventory. My the private shopping room? Ooh, I don't even wanna know what goes on in there. My goal is for you to go home with as many products as possible this evening, okay? The separate shopping room is gonna be actually in Peyton's bedroom. I like to call it Vegas, because what happens in Vegas? Stay in Vegas. All right, so that means you wanna come one at a time because it is confidential, all right? If you don't come one at a time, is it still Vegas? No. no. Thank you for honoring that. Right. Okay, I've heard this before though. Someone was telling me about like their experience at a pure romance party one time. Maybe I was like reading it on Reddit actually now that I think about it, where it was apparently really awkward and everyone goes in one at a time to buy stuff. And I get it, like these are these are personal products, right? Um, I get it. But like, you're all in this room together, experiencing this together. After the party's over, we all shouldn't be ashamed of what Ooh. those we buy. 
right? When you shop, I will put all of your goodies into a bag. No one will know what you purchase unless you dump out your bag for your friends. <laughs> all right, good deal. Getting all this housekeeping. I feel like if this wasn't being filmed and if this wasn't like clearly set up in one way or another, like no one would have laughed at that. That's not funny, all right. I have been partying with Pure Romance for 16 years, but who's counting? Okay, in that amount of time, I've learned a lot about women just like you sitting here. One of the things I've learned about us ladies is that we like free. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say it with me. Free is for me. Free, free is, is for me. me. Free is for me. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna tell you three quick ways that you can get free and discounted products with Pure Romance and then we're gonna play a fun little game. Sound good? Yeah. All right, the first way to get free products with Pure Romance by Cindy is tonight when you come shopping in Vegas. On your party menu that you have in your lap, okay? I'm not gonna make a whole lot of sense menu. right now, so you don't Wait. have to take. Let's see if there's one in the description. No, no, I don't have a party menu. Cindy, I feel left out. The second way to get free and discounted products with Pure Romance is to duplicate this fun experience with your own friends in your own home. So my average hostess does get a shopping spree as well as additional percentage off. So when you're a hostess, you why would you need percentage off if you're going on a shopping spree? Unless her idea of a shopping spree is here's $25 to go towards anything in my store. I don't know. I'm just making assumptions. I'm skeptical. Now the third and final way to get free and discounted products with Pure Romance is to actually do what I do as a Pure Romance consultant. Ew. So I have not paid full price for a Pure Romance product in 16 years. We're five minutes into this and she's already trying to recruit people. Holy shit. During the process of my divorce, my best friend at the hospital said, Cindy, get a vibe and get her done. Okay. Unfortunately, um, I had never at that age, I was 31 then, I had never uh, found my clitoris and never had an orgasm. How do you, <laughs> how do you not know where it is? <laughs> it's basic human anatomy. How do you not know where it is? Just look at a, I was about to say, look at a map. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, oh, Cindy, I'm sorry. I'm sure you found it by now, right? And what she did was suggested a pure romance party. Go figure. So my friends came in droves and guess what I did? I hid in the kitchen while they passed the toys around. <laughs> so why would you be that guy? You know, why would you be that guy at a party? And I, and I prayed repeatedly, Jesus, take the wheel, but not my <laughs> clothes. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Anyway, what does that even mean? What I do, now I spend my time educating, entertaining and empowering women just like you at my parties, as well as the amazing women on my team. Listen, she's tugging at my heartstrings a little bit because I can appreciate like women being open about this kind of stuff, right? Um, because it's been so taboo for all of history. Um, and I think it's really cool that women can come out and, and be open and upfront. I just hate that we have to do it with this business structure, right? Because at the end of the day, we're not exactly empowering women we are preying on them and using their loss of money in order to gain money for ourselves. It's honestly hypocritical and ironic or um, actually I don't really even know what that word would be, but one of those two, right? <laughs> Cindy, I, I don't think you're a bad person for being a pure romance. I was about to say model. God, please do not model any of the free from the book. I can't even speak. I forgot I was drinking wine. That's probably why. I can see like listening to what she just said and going like, oh yeah, empowering women is cool. But when you really get into the thick of it, yeah, it, it really is not the best way to empower women. So what I'd like to do is invite you during the party process to think about what I do and possibly see yourself in my shoes, okay? It's a lot of fun, it's extremely rewarding, and it's flexible, you get to do it on your own terms and set your own schedule. Then she turns around and says that shit like, hey, during this entire party, just pretend that you're me. And you know that if one of these women like go, you know what, Cindy, you're right and then they end up signing up with her, which, like I said, I don't know anything about Pure Romance. I don't know how much it costs to sign up. Maybe she'll tell us at the end here, or bit. <laughs> we're only seven minutes in and she's already talking about it. Maybe just, maybe it's just because like knowing what I know, knowing what we all know, it's just 
Unfortunate. Like, I feel sad right now. Why do I feel sad? This is supposed to be a fun experience. Whatever. Okay, you get to be the CEO. Not just... She said CEO. I'm done. Sorry, Cindy. I can't anymore. Because when pure romance inevitably shuts down, just like every other MLM is doing right now, you have no power over whether or not your business stays open or not. Because the actual CEO of pure romance is going to be the one to shut it down. Anyway. So, uh, what we're going to do first, ladies, is we're going to do the sexy name game. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say your name. Hi, my name is Cindy. And then you're gonna describe yourself in a sexy or sensual way using the first letter of your name. I'm Cindy. <laughs> Let's just do it this way. I'm climaxing Cindy, okay? Not currently. Okay. <laughs> All right, Peyton is our hostess with the mostest. So we're gonna start with you. Oh, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Right. I'm provocative, Peyton. I'm gonna go with Sugar Baby Shannon. <laughs> Sugar Baby Shannon, that's a first. That's pretty good, Very actually. sexy, though. <laughs> I'm delicious, Deja. I'm spicy, Celeste. Spicy. Okay. I'm Channing, and I'm Clifferific Channing. Clifferific <laughs> Channing. I guess so. So I guess I have to do this too, right? I'm part of the party? Oh, fucking hell. I'm sultry, Savannah. <laughs> Channing's really pretty. I want to look like Channing. Right there um, in your lap board, you're going to see a little card there that says, hey, let's connect. Okay? Hey, let's and talk. what I'd like for you to do, we're going to go ahead and fill out the front side of the card right now. We're going to fill this out together. Um, this is all information that I'm just going to need to have in general, and especially if I do need to send a product to your home. Okay? So if I do not have 100% of the products that you're going to want this evening, I will mail those products to your home. So, I mean, at least... I mean, I guess, no, that's not true. <laughs> I'm like having an internal dialogue, sorry. I was gonna say, see, she's like admitting that she carries an inventory. And then I was gonna say like, well, I guess you could do one of these parties without carrying an inventory, which you could, but like, you gotta have something, right? Now, we are gonna lick and sniff, like I just talked about. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Everything on the left is for licking. So just remember left, lick, edible, kissable products, okay? On the right is for sniffing and rubbing. If you lick your- No one said anything about rubbing until right now. I have that lantern. You know that guy in the background? I bought a few of those at Ikea for Sparrow's bedroom when she was a baby. <laughs> uh, Coochie is our rash-free shave cream. Okay, works oh. like a hair conditioner does in your hair. So where are you gonna get, where are you gonna shave with this? Everywhere! Your legs, under your arms, the bikini area. I'm sorry, I know we're only into our first product, but I just feel like I'm so being sold to, right? Like this isn't a party. This is like HSN, except in person, you know? So it also doubles as a hair conditioner, okay? Y'all gonna buy this shit and shave your legs with it and then put it in your hair? We've gone too far. Pure romance, you've gone too far. I say this now, but I'm gonna regret it. Uh, She's not gonna tell now, us the price body of do. Hold on, I wanna know how much coochie is. I'm gonna have to place my order. I'm just kidding. <laughs> coochie shaving cream. 22 bucks. Y'all remember the last time you spent $22 on shaving cream? Not me. That's gonna be a yeah never bro for me. It's fucking hot in here. I need to turn on a fan. I'm sorry if this is gonna make noise. I'm sorry. It's just hot. Oh shit. How do you, how do you do this? It's on low speed. I'm sorry if it sucks. So right arm. This is also great for tattoos. So if you have any gorgeous ink on your body. You don't need to put pheromones on your tattoos. It seems like they're just kind of like reaching for any use outside of the sexual realm, you know? What you can spray the tattoo and it makes the color, the ink pop out and look really new and vibrant. Well, yeah, until, I mean, first of all, you can say that about just about any body oil, but also it's not permanent. It doesn't, it's not going to permanently make your tattoos look better. You have to keep reapplying it and you're going to be sticky and oily all day. Now, what I'd like for you to do is feel your left arm by comparison so you can feel the difference. Oh, wow, there's oil here and none here. What a revelation. Um, body Dew is a hydrating body spray, okay? Kiss is a refreshing body spray oh why do you need multiple different co okay i'll give it a chance none of our products contain alcohol which is good for you to know because alcohol does what Dry, yeah. dries you out alcohol also dries out 
We'll come to that later. <laughs> what Just the fuck? planting a seed, lady. I'm getting like visions of sorority girls. Um, how there's that thing where they're like, if you soak a tampon in vodka, that kind of thing. Cause why else would you put alcohol in that area? You know. Plus, I'm pretty sure that doesn't even work, right? The vodka soaked tampon thing. I don't think that works. Now, I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna spray your neck. I'm gonna give you a kiss on the neck with the product, not my mouth. Everybody take a breath. All right, you're gonna lean Jesus. your head back. You're gonna, so at Pure Romance, we the consultants have a couple nicknames for this product. Number one is liquid gold. I feel like every MLM has a liquid gold, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Number two is Botox in a bottle. I also feel like at least, well, no, you know what? I'm not even gonna limit it. I think everyone's got Botox in a bottle too. I know when I was with Lime Life, they had Botox in a bottle was, um, well shit, I don't even remember the name of it, but there was one that they like to claim was Botox in a bottle. Now I know it's probably bullshit. We're gonna move straight into massage and forte. Oh, the good. underrated sports. So we're gonna do a male female comparison. You ready? Okay. <clears throat> I guess Men, so. very simple minded creatures. That's not an insult, it's a fact. So they're gonna be like a light switch, okay? So what do you do with a light switch? Just turn it off and on. Off, on, oh off, my God. on. Sex sandwich, sex sandwich, <laughs> sex Don't laugh, get it? Savannah, okay. it's not funny. Then here, foreplay is really important because it brings the mind and the body together very quickly. An average of 15 to 17 minutes of foreplay increases a woman's chance of orgasm by about 75%. 15 minutes? I mean, maybe. I'm not, I'm, 15 minutes sounds like a little bit too long. Am I right? Maybe I'm not right. Maybe it's just me. And then a little bit, I'm gonna teach you how to pre-game. Y'all know what pre-gaming is. But I'm gonna teach you how to pre-game the oh. play. All right? Oh. By yourself before, okay, we'll do that. That's, that's, that's to come. Oh. So I'm gonna introduce you to our amazing massage gloves. <laughs> Could you imagine? I don't know anything about these fucking gloves, but could you imagine your significant other being like, hey baby, wanna whatever? <laughs> and then you're all like, yeah baby, let me get my gloves. <laughs> Call me vanilla, but it's just that already mood is turned off. <laughs> Hold on, I can't find my other glove. <laughs> like, come on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Touch also boosts your immune system. So Touch is very, very important. There is nothing sexy about those gloves. I'm sorry. And please tell me she's not about to go around and start being like, I'm gonna give everyone a personal arm massage. She's gonna do it, isn't she? Fucking hell. You'll see you have one tech, there's a texture on this side and then on this side. Okay, listen, like I'm not, I'm not denying that this probably enhances <coughs> the sensation of being massaged just by like a bare hand as opposed to these things, I have no doubt in my mind that they probably do enhance that experience. I'm sorry, I just can't imagine just being like, yeah, baby, let me go get my gloves real fast. You know? <laughs> maybe, I'm, uh, maybe I'm looking too far into this. Right, so different on each side, okay? Can you imagine massaging someone like this? How's that, baby? <laughs> Now I'm gonna take one off and then I'm gonna massage your arm in a second. Oh, okay? she's doing it. So. She gonna do it. Women, the mind and the body gotta come together. Surprise penis <laughs> does not do that. <laughs> At least someone said it. So, and so you can actually take this into the shower and use the shower gel with the in good gloves, the, excuse me, in good hands glove, okay? And it lathers up really, really nicely. No, I'm sure that's this, fine. waterproof, so. You may never leave the shower. <laughs> Normally, it's a man that never leaves the shower. We can change all that. <laughs> Not if you're a Monate, hun. They all like to talk about how long they're always in the shower with all 5,000 of their products. But it has delicious flavors, four delicious sugar-free flavors. Delicious Deja. Delicious Deja. Thank you for pointing that out, <laughs> oh Deja. Thank you, I should've thought of that. Someone's so, it's like a lotion. Way too into Men this are natural party. Born, they're gonna walk in the house, they're gonna be like, I smell cake. And you're gonna be like, yes, you do. <laughs> and I got creme brulee down south, big daddy. <laughs> Happy hunting. Does anyone talk to their husband that way? Or their wife for that matter? I got creme brulee down south, honey. I'm uncomfortable. I'm gonna massage your left arm because guess what? This is edible. And you're gonna make people eat this shit? 
<laughs> Come on. Hey, spicy Celeste. <laughs> this is the point where I'm like, yeah, no, your your sales pitch for getting me to join your team and do this shit with you, it's gone. It's out the window. Bye. Ain't no way I'm fucking massaging people's arms. This is weird. Men love the texture of whipped on their shit and their tentacles. Oh. Okay? So we're they just going to say about 96% right of men there. masturbate. Uh, and the other four only 96%. <laughs> there's there's no way. That number has to be higher, right? Percent are what we call liars. Thank you, Daisha. <laughs> oh, liars. Okay, okay, all right, delicious Daisha, you got me. <laughs> Thank you, Daisha. That's exactly right. Now, if your partner is nowhere around, <laughs> not a problem. Just know that the doorknobs may look friendly and mountable. Okay? And there's ew. <laughs> Listen, I get it, but I would never. But I get. Can you like take the doorknob off of the door? <laughs> no need to mount a doorknob. Okay, we've got Serena and plenty of other toys. Okay. Oh my god. And a silicone-based lubricant is 100% waterproof. So Ooh. in the shower, the pool, or the neighbor's pool, it's now enjoyable. I'm sorry. Or, please don't encourage people to go jump the fence and do it in their neighbor's pool. Can we not do that? The back door is not like the front door. It is not self lubricating So anytime you're going to go near the end, your, your partner's end, please use a lubricant. I mean, do people not do that? You don't, you don't go there without, you don't, because it doesn't, okay. Um, gorgeous. Oh, let me come over here. And it comes with a thong. Ooh. All right. Um, and I'm, we're going to play, we're going to call this Let's Be Nosy. Another oh okay? Here we go. So I'm going to give you the opportunity um, to ask me what you would like to know about my pure romance business. Oh, for goodness I sake. would like to know maybe what your thoughts are. We're going to start with eight questions. And these are the most common questions that we pure romance consultants get from women like you at our parties and what you want to know about the business. Okay? Oh, here we go. So I am going to pass these out. I will force you to ask me a question whether you want to or not. Who has number one? How much does it cost to join Pure Romance? Here we go. Pure Romance, at Pure Romance we have three different starter kits for our business, um, but basically they are based on your budget. So it really is what you can afford, okay? Um, but the value of the products are always at least 50% off. So really, it's just your budget and what you can afford. Okay, number two. There wasn't even a number there. How much does it cost to join? Okay, you didn't answer the question. Why are we even doing this exercise? What type of training will I get? You get me! <laughs> Celeste is like, oh, crazy. <laughs> um, I'm just a very small part of what you get. So what's great about training at Pure Romance is your local support and then your corporate support. And you have a lot of support online as well locally. The resources are limitless. You get out of it what you put into it, but there's a ton of training offered. I love the training question. That's great. Like as if she's the one who came up with it. Three. Do I have to work a certain amount of time? No, you do not. And that's one of the beauties of being self-employed. Pure Romance by Cindy does hers one way. Pure Romance by Celeste, you would do yours one way. Okay, number four. How much money can I make with Pure Romance? Oh boy. Deja, Deja. So um, you can make as much money as you like, Deja. That's, that's not how it freaking effing works. <laughs> oh, I haven't drank for a YouTube video in a long time. Words just don't work anymore. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. If we could make as much as we want to make, we'd all be fucking millionaires, right? None of us just only want to make a little bit of money. That's so stupid. It's like if I could snap my fingers right now and go, I want to make a million dollars. That's not how it works. You have to put in work. And you also, with MLMs, you gotta be lucky. Point blank. Anyway, what else you gotta say, Cindy? That's one of the things also about being self-employed is as you get to choose your own income, okay? That's not- I want to make a million dollars an hour. Oh, that's not possible? Well, what the fuck, Cindy? You told me I could choose my income. What are the perks for pure romance consultants? Look, we need all night, Shannon. There are a lot of perks. I'm going to name a few. Fun. Yeah, we're obviously um, having a ton of there fun. There is But there's a lot of amazing perks. What kind of perks are there? There's a lot of amazing perks. That's essentially how she answered that question. <laughs> How soon can I start making money? Like tonight. Tonight. Peyton. I mean, come on. So as soon as I sign up, boom, I have a website. How does a pure romance consultant make money? So tonight's party, you will pay me, right? I will turn around, I will reorder what I've sold, and then I keep the difference. Oh, but are we not going to talk about how you get paid off of recruiting Peyton and 
Celeste and uh, these girls are my friends now. <laughs> no, really though, you're not gonna tell them about that, are you? What do you like most about your pro pure romance business? Um, pure romance has given me a lot of choices. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna grab your connect card right there, if you don't mind, please. We're gonna fill this out together. Who in this room would be a fantastic pure romance consultant? Do not put my name, I'm already a consultant, all right? But you can put your own name. This is really cringy. What are you enjoying most about this party right now, like currently? What are you enjoying most about the party? That I'm not actually there. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Is this like a questionnaire so that she knows how to pitch the opportunity to you? Because this is really scummy. So that if you say, I'm a mom, then she'll go in your ear in that private shopping room and go, don't you want to stay home with your baby? Or if you tell her, I'm a student, don't you want to make income while you're still in school? Cindy, I think I was wrong about you. Uh, what is your biggest bill of the month? This is a very personal Sometimes question. Rent, mortgage, car payment, what, what would that be? And why does she need to know now, this? Number five, the answer to this question, I would like for you to not put pay off debt. I would like for you to not put buying anything for anybody else. This is about you. If I was to hand you $800 cash right this minute, what would you do with it? You can put savings because that's an investment. But what would you do with $800 cash right now? I'm wondering if $800 is one of the buy-ins because she just mentioned investment. I don't know. Foreshadowing or am I wrong? I don't know. That blonde chick, what's her name again? I don't remember. She looks like Marsha Brady, but like in a good way, right? And I think I'm talking about Marsha Brady from the very Brady movie and not from the actual Brady Bunch. <laughs> anyway. Is that $800 number? is really what you would make if you just on average doing one party a week. That is bullshit. There's no fucking way that this bitch right here with these five people is going to make $800. There's no way. 800 to $1,000 a month. Oh, okay, we're raising it to a thousand. That's bullshit. There's no fucking way because there, she's not making a hundred percent of what she's selling. But unless she's like saying like I get a hundred percent of the profits back, but she like had to pay for the inventory she has on hand. So like part of that eight hundred to a thousand dollars is gonna go right back into her business, right? So how much are you really making, Cindy? Cause I call bullshit. If I could show you a way to pay number four easier. So you could do more of number five. Would you be interested in knowing more about pure romance? Yes, no, or maybe. Here's an idea, say no. Wonderful, you already talk about toys? So if you just grab any uh, cleaner out of your cabinet, even the soap and water at your sink, it's too harsh for the material, the high quality material that our toys are made of. Silicones, jellies, and plastics. A simple dish soap, they use that to clean like baby animals and oil spills and shit, you know? If it's gentle enough for that, I think it's gentle enough for your fucking dildo. Ooh. Silicone is um, non-porous and hypoallergenic. So it's the best for your long-term vaginal health. People have silicone allergies though. How can you say silicone is hypoallergenic? I don't know. Someone in the comments will probably tell me how dumb I sound right now. So there is your dry rub. See, wah, wah. All right, here we go. You ready? <laughs> right? Well, my hand feels so good. good. Thanks, baby. Look at how small that is. You'll feel a difference. Oh, wow. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. This is so right, awkward. Like, cool. I like can't show this. And this is extremely flexible. The shape. Oh, wow. Look at that. What's I can't about show that, this. ladies. <laughs> it's getting when they all sing at the same time, we like to call that blended orgasms. And they don't suck. You might sing. <laughs> But they don't. <laughs> now, what? <laughs> oh, Cindy. <laughs> she just winked. Uh, Let's jump to a vaginal binder from our Euphoria collection. Our Euphoria collection, ladies, is um, basically what I like to call the Louis Vuitton of all our toys. Okay? So oh, she just had it in a nice little box. Think, I think hashtag bougie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really nice. Like you could I mean, yeah, that, that is dresser. pretty bougie. <laughs> like, nobody's going to know any different. 18 karat rose gold plating. Why do you okay. need that? Okay. I need to know how much this damn thing is. I'm gonna guess. Okay, before I look this price up of this toy, leave me a comment. <laughs> Let's have a guessing game together and see who's right. I'm gonna guess that that motherfucking toy is 
$250. Write your answers below. Now let's go look. Okay, first of all, I was so fucking right because bitch, it's $249. <laughs> I'm so good at this. But also, um, before I saw the price tag on this one, I saw this one first and I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. But yeah, no, this one is a thousand dollars. Um, a thousand dollars? Is it because there's sw- sw- how do you say that word? Swarovski qu- quistos? <laughs> Swarovski quistos? Why spend a thousand dollars on a toy? Literally, there's no reason for it. There's no fu- Oh my god, there's no reason for it. Why does this exist? I'm angry. This is all Cindy's fault. What do you think? You wanna feel it? You know you do. Now, no, the heating element I just turned on, so it's not gonna be hot yet. Do you wanna spend $250 on this? And now, we are gonna get to the fun topic of anal. Ooh. We don't yuck on anybody's yum, right? Okay, yeah. So, but everything about anal Ooh. intercourse Ooh. is slow. The general rule is inch a minute. Think about how slow that is, right? An inch a minute, okay? So whether you're using a toy, whether you're using a finger, whether you're using a penis, very good to know, and you wanna communicate all of that with your partner. Okay? I'm learning a lot uh, right this now. Has, uh, <laughs> this feeds. I'm thinking I'm gonna just skip this part because there is no fucking way I can show this on YouTube. Uh-uh. Y'all, if you wanna see this for yourself, all you have to do is search pure romance on YouTube. This is like the third video that comes up. That's why I'm not blurring anyone's face. Like it has plenty of views, it's very accessible. And now I'm just gonna fast forward to the part that it really doesn't matter, right? There's no point. No point in looking at this. So we're going to Vegas, right? All right, so before we do that, before we go to Vegas, I have uh, one more commercial, and then we are gonna talk about the three sales and the biggest bang for your buck. Sound good? What I would like to do is offer you the opportunity to duplicate this fun experience with your friends. You're going to spin my wheel. There are six different categories here on my wheel. Those six different categories repre represent the six different types of hostess gifts you will receive the night of your party. Oh so my arouse God. me, rub me, tease me, smell me, pamper me, or lick me. If you would like to spin my wheel, basically what you're telling me is that when you come in the shopping room, we're gonna go ahead and pick a date for your party, okay? And I will be choosing a hostess gift from whatever category you spin, you get on your spin. Spin or pass? Spin. <laughs> Yay! This is weird. all right. What's it gonna be for you, spicy? I'm gonna go for it. Awesome, Daisha. I know you just had a party, but it is not I a. Want another it's one. not <laughs> a sin to have another one. Right. All right, <laughs> Shannon. Y'all are too nice to me. I'm like, fun. yay! Awesome. It looks like you're getting your bonuses paid. Yeah. Yay us. Okay. So awkward. And there's no way that this isn't just planned, right? Or like scripted or something. There's no way. This is not like a regular thing. Or either that or these girls are just like so pressured because there's a camera there. This shit doesn't happen normally, you know? Let's shop. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, that was it. Well, hi, hello, Savannah from the future here. I'm just doing a voiceover for this part because that fan, oh my god, it is so horrible. I am so sorry because I accidentally closed my screen recorder so it turned my microphone off too. So I was just using like my camera microphone and it, it was bad, all right? So um, I figure this is kinder to your ears. Anyway, uh, basically what I said here is in conclusion, this whole experience was quite uncomfortable. It was not fun, and I can't imagine a world in which it is fun for people. But whatever. I don't want to yuck anybody's yum, but this shit just ain't for me. This is not my zone, alright? That's the end of this video here. If you made it this far, please leave a like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram too, since I'm on quarantine. I'm just like hitting that shit up all the time. So all that information is down below. Um, yeah, make sure that you're subscribed because last video I was like, hey guys, 70 something percent of y'all are not subscribed to this channel and a lot of you guys were like oh my god i thought i was subscribed so go ahead and make sure you're subscribed here and if you're not hit that button if you are hi you're the best and uh yeah everyone stay safe out there stay home if you can and of course keep making waves babes and i will see you probably in a few days with another video because i have nothing else to do with my time all right smell you later bye